Hey guys, enjoying our reaction videos? If you are, please click the link to the reacted video in the description and show the creator lots of support. Thanks guys. Okay guys, here we finally go watching some more Swag Kage. It, it's so much fun now being able to you know watch his videos and not have to worry about um, potential spoilage or anything like that. Because again, even when things come up towards Boruto or anything, I don't know when I'm going to get to watch Boruto. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry guys. If things come up about it, I'm really not all that concerned. I don't, I don't think there will be in this one anyway, but just going forward. But this is explaining the Sharingan. This is one of the ones that... You guys, as we've been watching Naruto together, you guys have been telling me over and over, you know, you need to watch this one as soon as it's clear of spoilers. And I think it's, you know, with a lot of what Saikage explains, because I, I know he's got one explaining the Mangekyu Sharingan and everything, seems like a good place to get started with these type of explanations. But there's so much of his, his video, so many of his videos that I want to see. And again, I can't thank Saikage enough for allowing us to um, do reactions to his videos. And as always, guys, please make sure you're supporting him. Whether you agree with Swaikage's take, Swaikage's takes on these things or not makes no difference. It's always fun to get somebody's opinion on something, particularly something that is content that we all enjoy, we all like. And even if it sometimes it's even more interesting if his particular take is different than your own. So I'm sure most of you already are watching his videos, but anyone who isn't, please make sure you're you're out there supporting Swaikage because again. Fun, fun guy, makes great videos. I like, again, even when they're opposite mine, I like his take on things. And certainly, you know, really good, gracious dude allowing us to to make reactions to his videos as well. All right, let's check this out because this one, again, I've been amped up for. You guys have been telling me this is really good explanation. Explaining the Sharingan, let's go. Hello, everybody. How are all of you doing today? Swag Kage here, and I think it's about time I finally talked about Naruto for once. Naruto. For my first informative Naruto video, I can't think of anything better to talk about than the Sharingan, the dojutsu of the Uchiha clan, and possibly one of the most broken abilities in all of fiction. This OP wow, really? ability right here made its debut in Chapter 12 of the Naruto manga when Kakashi first played the Team that. 7 from Zabuza. The Sharingan's first use was explosive and gave the audience a glimpse of what <clears> someone <throat> with just one Sharingan could do. Kakashi displayed all sorts of abilities, like subtle genjutsu use, the ability to mirror an opponent's movements, the ability to outright copy entire jutsu, and so on. The Sharingan completely turned the title of in Kakashi's favor, leaving Zabuza decimated and out of commission for over a week. If it wasn't already clear enough, the Sharingan is, or at least has the potential to be, one of the most powerful abilities in the world of Naruto. Even in its earliest stages, the Sharingan is still potent enough to give its user access Trying to, to some ridiculous I think abilities, about that like when Sasuke with managed the to copy Rock Lee's speed and taijutsu <clears throat> prowess with an <clears throat> incomplete pair of Sharingan, or when Obito managed to see through the camouflage technique of an enemy stone ninja with a pair of Sharingan that he just, just got. Yeah. Before I get ahead yeah. of myself, okay. let me go ahead and give a general breakdown of what the Sharingan is. Its name translates to Copy Wheel Eye, though this name doesn't do a very good job summarizing what the Sharingan is. I didn't, I didn't know that and either. One of the base Sharingan's most notable abilities is the ability to copy any technique the user sees, but there's a lot more to a plain Sharingan than the ability to just copy Jutsu alone. In essence, the purpose of the base Sharingan is to augment the user's vision and reflexes to an incredible degree, giving them access to dozens of different smaller bonus abilities as a result. Acquisition of the Sharingan, while a bit sporadic well, and inconsistent in some regards, is I, at least a pretty straightforward concept. I really like having this broken. Put simply, down like attaining this. the Sharingan is like going Super Saiyan in Dragon Ball <coughs> Excuse me, in the guys. sense that it awakens in response to a powerful emotional reaction. The emotion doesn't seem cool to, analogy. to be one of any particular kind. It can be stress, a desire to protect, the grief over the death of a loved one, the joy of accomplishing something, and anything in between. Sasuke awakened <laughs> his Sharingan in response to the eyes. annihilation of the Uchiha clan. Obito awakened his Sharingan due to his immense resolve to protect Rin and Kakashi. Sarada yep. awakened her yep. Sharingan in response to the excitement she felt when she learned she might be able to finally meet her father, and the list goes on. Whatever that emotion may be, once the Shinobi experiences it, assuming they're in Uchiha, of course, their brain will begin to emit a special form of chakra well, that affects their optic nerves and the Uchiha's eyes will thereafter guys, evolve into the Sharingan. It is possible what can I have happened that will be emotional enough for me to get the Sharingan? Circumstances, but this can only be Help done me. by transplanting the eyes of an Uchiha who has already unlocked the Sharingan into whoever it is that wants it. Like Additionally, Kakashi use sensei. of the Sharingan by a non-Uchiha is highly discouraged as it drains a monstrous amount of chakra and can leave the user's entire body immobile for up to a week. 
The abilities of the Sharingan all fall uh, under one of two categories. The Eye of Insight and the Eye of Hypnotism, though contrary to what the names hmm. imply, these abilities are not literally restricted to one eye or the other. The Eye of Insight focuses on... Goddamn hypnotism. <laughs> ...and is what the Sharingan's famous copy ability stems from. Thanks so to I've the got Eye part of, insight, of the Sharingan. Users of the Sharingan are capable of seeing chakra in a visible form and can furthermore distinguish the sources of the chakra based on the color the Sharingan labels it with. The user can also detect irregularities within the chakra being observed and whether the irregularities are self-inflicted or brought on by outside causes like Genjutsu. Adding on to what I mentioned earlier, the Eye of Insight grants the user an incredible wow. boost in perception, allowing them to read lips, predict an enemy's oncoming and attacks based on muscle movements and tension, perceive and decode funny. incredibly subtle movements like I pencil movements from know most of these things, but exactly what someone may be writing, etc. The final note: having them the broken down like this is, of course, the Sharingan's ability to copy really makes you appreciate the abilities of the Sharingan. As long as a Sharingan user is physically capable of performing the jutsu that they wish to copy, they will be able to perform it on their own after seeing it once with the Sharingan. Of course, this means that Kike Genkai and other similar abilities cannot be copied, nor can abilities that rely on nature transformations that the Sharingan user has not yet mastered. The abilities granted by the Eye of Hypnotism God deal with, damn. as you expect, manipulation of a foe's sight Sky, that's no other stuff related like to Kage. various forms of hypnotism. The most notable of these is the user's ability <clears throat> to use the Sharingan's Genjutsu, simply labeled Genjutsu Sharingan, which, at its most potent, can place a target under the complete control of the Genjutsu caster. Of course, the Sharingan is capable of initiating less extreme forms of Genjutsu. Quite a few good examples can actually be seen during Sasuke's fight with Donzo. Or less extreme forms of control. The Eye of Hypnotism can suddenly is one of the uh, into giving up most fascinating or as seen during the fight between abilities that I saw in all of Naruto performing actions at the will Fuck of the Genjutsu caster. When performing these minor acts of control, it's possible to keep the person being manipulated completely unaware that they are under the effects of the Sharingan's Genjutsu, That's which cool. dramatically increases the Genjutsu's potency and versatility. As I mentioned earlier, though, at its most potent, the Eye of Hypnotism allows for absolute, complete control of a person or creature, and the Uchiha are particularly infamous for their use of this ability to hypnotize the Nine-Tailed Fox. Both Obito and Madara have used the Sharingan to fully tame the QB in the past, and as far as I'm aware, there have been no stated negative side effects for doing something like this. While hmm. all of these abilities are available cool. to Uchiha from the Sharingan's earliest stages, they will only be at their most potent when the Sharingan has fully progressed to its final stage. Luckily for the Uchiha, and the audience for that matter, tracking the progress of the Sharingan is easy and can be done by simply counting the number Counted. of Tomo present in the yep. game. Yep. One Tomo that's indicates cool. that the Sharingan is in its primary stage, two indicates it has progressed I, into its secondary stage, and three I gotta admit, I always like that angle evolved. too. Progressing the Sharingan through these stages being able is to watch easy, but incredibly time what level of Sharingan everybody's at. That's just Sharingan is through cool storytelling. And use of the, doujutsu. the best way to describe it is by comparing it to leveling up in an RPG. The more you <laughs> use a certain skill, the more proficient you'll become with that skill, and the same is true for the Sharingan. Despite how incredible the abilities of the Eye of Insight and Eye of Hypnotism may be, they pale in comparison to the base Sharingan's ultimate techniques, Izanagi and Izanami. Actually, applying these techniques is a bit difficult under normal circumstances, since one use of either technique renders one of the user's Sharingan useless, but the sheer power of both techniques more than makes up to the Shinto same gods? Course. Izanagi is a game the Japanese technique that That's is cool, I didn't know that about... Of an enemy, or if I did, I've forgotten, but the, the Izanagi and Izanami... Illusion while it is active. It gives the user a degree of control over themselves that they would only be able to manage within a genjutsu without actually trapping them in one. Their body remains physically real, but all injuries that they sustain do not. When it first debuted in Chapter 476, Donzo repeatedly used it to negate otherwise fatal blows during his battle with Sasuke, with Sasuke effectively yep. putting him in a state of temporary immortality. That but was most simply, the primary use for Izanagi is to negate death by re that was pretty cool. injury or fatal Itachi. blow is nothing more than an illusion, allowing Donzo, the user because to appear completely unscathed. When Izanagi was first revealed, it was said that only someone with the DNA of both the Senju and the Uchiha could pull off the Genjutsu, but according to Itachi, in the past there were plenty of Uchiha capable of using the technique, so eh. Regardless, eh. the technique is incredibly powerful. <laughs> I gotta, can even I'm be... going to pause just for a second because I, I, I have something more expansive I want to say and I don't want to miss too much of what he says. I know a lot of you guys um, consider the Itsunami as an ass pole, and, and you, know, you know that's a legitimate complaint or a legitim legitimate concern or, or thought process. But I got to tell you, I like the Itsunami. I, that was, just because of its nature, I just was fascinated by that idea of, you know, being caught in that loop of reliving what you've done. And the only way out is to take, is to accept possibly a new path. I mean, that just, that whole thing with the Itsunami and um, Kabuto just fascinated me. That's why I was so anxious to see who Kabuto was when he came out of it, because I wanted to see what the end result was. But yeah, I, again, I know, again, that's, what makes it fun is we all have different takes on things. I know a lot of you don't care for the Itsunami. I thought it was pretty, pretty cool.
to be set to go off at a particular time or under certain conditions, as seen when Madara set it to go off after his death, allowing him to revive himself after his death at the hands of Hashirama. Izanami, on the other hand, is a genjutsu that, like most others, is meant to be cast on a foe. According to Itachi, yep. Izanami was created to punish Uchiha, who had abused Izanagi in the past, but like I mentioned before, therein lies a problem, since Uchiha, without the DNA of the Senju, were originally said to be unable to use Izanagi. So I guess that's not the case. I guess all Uchiha <laughs> can use Izanagi and Senju DNA just makes using it easier. But anyway, let me go ahead and explain <laughs> what Izanami does. Well, Izanagi is the ultimate Genjutsu that can be cast on one person. Izanami is, so is the most easy powerful to Genjutsu listen to that can as be well. cast on another person. Now, granted, the technique can only affect one person at a time as far as I'm aware, but it looks to me like a clear-cut instant win technique based on what little the audience has been shown. The specifics of the technique are a bit complicated, so <laughs> forgive me if I don't do a very good job describing how it works. Izanami is performed by selecting an arbitrary moment, using the Sharingan to record the ongoing physical sensations of both the user's body and the target's body during that moment, and then replicating that moment exactly at a later point. This can be done with more than one moment to increase the chance of the Genjutsu's success, but that's optional, and again, it only increases the chance that the Genjutsu will work. It is not required. Anyhow, once the user has replicated whatever moment or moments they've picked, the target will be trapped in a temporal loop where they will witness I just, the event I just think the first that's a neat moment concept. The specified in the replication of said moment non-stop until the Genjutsu ends. Since this is a Genjutsu, the temporal loop I just mentioned obviously happens inside the mind of the target, meaning that while they are trapped in Izanami, they are left completely immobile. Furthermore, escaping the Genjutsu is impossible, Poor even Kabuto. if the caster dies after Izanami is put into action, until the victim acknowledges their mistake mistakes or and takes a closer look at themselves or whatever and takes it that seems off ramp. to only really have an effect on people who aren't good natured or haven't really found themselves so if you use it on somebody completely pure of heart, completely like Naruto comfortable or whatever i doubt it who would they be are too effective that makes but, sense all right I didn't think of that on, izanami can be cast without making direct eye contact and is instead cast by well actually i'm not exactly sure how <laughs> they can distract izanami since Neither the anime nor the manga explain this, but it worked on Kabuto even after he'd disabled both his eyesight and hearing. And since this is a visual genjutsu, I can't imagine that this would feed off of any of Kabuto's other senses, so... Nah. Yeah. In short, Izanami is incredibly dangerous, an <laughs> instant win technique like I mentioned earlier. The main downside to both Izanagi and Izanami is, like I mentioned earlier, the fact that just one use of either jutsu will permanently blind the user in one eye, Destroy which is a the really huge loss considering how many other abilities the Sharingan gives a person access to. In rare cases, it's possible to restore these lost eyes the way Maduro Uchiha did, but there are pretty tight restrictions for doing and so, so that's honestly barely even worth mentioning. That was now, another despite how much I've already covered, I've only scratched the tip interesting of the factor I briefly touched on the of the, of the Itanagi Itanami is the, the destruction of the eye, too. Fully evolved. Well, that's not entirely true. See, there exists a super powerful evolution of the oh, Sharingan that only geez. a handful of Uchiha actually possess, and that is the Mangekyo Sharingan. Sadly, <laughs> so, this is all I've got time for, but tune in next time to yeah. hear me talk about the Mangekyo I want, Sharingan. I want to see the Mangekyo Sh Sharingan one now. Love you all to death and hope to speak with you soon. Swag Kage out. Bye. Damn, dude. He, he makes such great videos. I, I, and again, not only do I like his take on things, whether I agree with it or not, I just like hearing his take. He's so smooth, and I like I like his voice. I mean, he's just got a really easy voice to listen to. Yeah, that was. I, I'm I'm really glad I watched that because again, the Itsunami fascinated me. Now, and again, I understand why people a lot of people don't care for it. I just like the concept of it. Maybe maybe it is the whole my whole hypnotism thing and my fascination with that element of how the brain works. But I hadn't thought about that in that. It worked obviously on Kabuto, and given the circumstances surrounding the Itsunami, he's a perfect example of somebody who clearly had not completely found his way and was not entirely happy with where he was and who he was. So I had never thought about that. Would it? Yeah, it probably wouldn't even work on somebody like Naruto. I mean, if you're somebody who's 100% comfortable in their own skin, for lack of a better term, and you're at a place in your life where you're good, you're comfortable, everything is laid out the way you want it. You'd probably be impervious to Izanami, like Saikage said, and I, I'd never thought about that. That's that that's really interesting, especially when you have something that, again, as he mentioned, is an instant win technique that might be thwarted simply by the fact that you're well adjusted. That I like that kind of stuff within the writing of anything. I just think it makes it interesting. That's why too, even though some people call that an ass pull, 
at least it it carries that huge price of destruction of the eye. So it's not like something that somebody's going to have that ability and just run through life dominating the world by putting everybody in the tsunami. Yeah, I, I, God damn, I enjoy, especially now having Shippuden completed, this is a blast getting Swaikage's takes on things. We, we got to watch more of these together.